So how to make your vlogging online? I'll show you a good example and later mine. Here are the common parts of a vlog to help you in creating your outline. Number one, intro. It includes what your channel is and who you are. In the intro, you can also show a recap of your previous vlog or a summary of your current vlog. Number two, intro greetings. It must be effective and catchy to set the mood of your vlog. Number three, introduction of the topic. You may want to show some trivias and informations about the topic, and you may also want to flash a montage of the topic. Your introduction of the topic should be concise and brief. Number four, discussion. It includes explanation of the topic, some disclaimers, and an open dialogue of your experience with the topic. Number five, preparation. You may want to throw a B-roll about the preparation, but please mind the camera directions, use only relevant shots, and keep or set the mood. Number six is the main vlog. Since this is your main product, show the real story and perform well. Take time to shoot and edit this part. Number seven, post assessment analysis or comments. You may also want to throw some tips and reminders in this part. And please don't lie. Number eight, promotions. It actually depends on you, so be strategic and analyze carefully your viewers' behavior. Number nine, the outro messages, which includes the thank you part, the requests to subscribe, like, share, etc. You know it already. And the last one is the number 10 outro clip which depends on you it could be your outro other social media accounts or your merch or something you promote and as i've said i've just given the common parts so you can arrange it yourself it depends on you be creative so that's about it the second part of this vlog is actually about how my vlogging journey started tips and some problems encountered so if you want to keep watching stay tuned so it started on july 3 when I watched the video about earning passive income and actually everything follows. I watched another and another and another about this, about that and that and it gets pretty interesting. And on August, I decided to vlog. Actually, it's supposed to be later, like after my cousins graduated and my commitments are done here. But since vlogging is not easy, and creating a community takes time, I decided four years earlier. And why not? Because freelancing is really not a stable job and if, only if, vlogging would assist me in some teaching, it will be a great time. In September 2020, I learned about many things that I need for vlogging and freelancing just like um, how to edit videos, how to create music, how to use this app, that app, even photography basics because you know it's very important in vlogging and in creating content. And on October, I started planning about my contents and I've written down ideas and I made a schedule about it but it's until on the second week of November where my room finished that I really started During those months, there have been drastic changes but the main one is in my cinema tea. It's actually supposed to be a talent and trying to learn something show. But then it turned out to be a travel one. It's supposed to sh be shared with cinema G, food and travel but yeah, changes happen. Initially, I planned that cinema tea with two covers and then I decided to compose but it's so hard. I tried one song and it, it took me like 
nine hours in just doing a song with no lyrics yet so i realized that it's not gonna happen so i changed back to cover and now it's so funny that it's canceled it canceled baby well mainly because yeah copyright issues so before i am accepting or I accepted that i won't be earning cinema r and cinema d but then i realized why am i doing it if i'm not gonna earn from it why are you wasting your talent you've wasted four and a half years in your previous employer and yet you're gonna do it again so i've learned my lesson and by the way if you haven't watch the second part of this mini series please check that out because it explains my shows and my channels other changes include screen name channel name and channel numbers which are so hilarious but, uh, well let's take for example my screen name um before i plan to use qg g g well, it's not funny for you, but it's, it is for me. So, for my channel names, it you can actually see it in my intro. So, first is the Studio Gilby intro, the blue one. So, it's actually inspired by Studio Ghibli. Yeah, because I actually love the animations of their movies. And yeah. And the second one is Ghibli Cinemas. So Ghibli Cinemas, if you don't know what I mean by Cinemas, you should check out my the first vlog, my first vlog, the first part of this three part series, three part uni series vlog, where I explained why it's in cinema. Actually, the Ghibli has also a meaning and I'm not gonna reveal it because you have to guess it for yourself. I plan to reveal it by when I achieve something here in vlogging because I'm literally no, a nobody here. Like, mm. So before I was planning to have two channels only, Studio Gilby and GB Cinema, and now I thought that I should do, I should separate them into two. Studio Gilby is supposed to have like foreign audience. It's focused on foreign audience while GB Cinemas focused on local audiences here in the Philippines. And then I thought it would be more appropriate to separate them per niche. So yeah, it it went from two to three and then four. I'm actually battling if I should separate my Korean BL and anime shows because you know the niche is big for a channel. Yeah, and combining them into cinema art is quite risky to have subscribers. Hmm. Due to that, I decided to just call to just use Studio Gilby as my studio name. <laughs> and GB Cinema as the cinema name since I want to adopt or to use a cinematic style. Cinematic style. I'm cringing right now. But yeah, it's still in progress. So please, please bear with me. I mean, I've done a tribute video before, but look at this. It's so hilarious. It's not cinematic. So it's my first time really to create something cinematic. Quite. Is that acceptable? Actually, after the Studio Gilby and G Chibi Cinema's intro, there will there is a third one. It's only a parody of a review and classification board here in the Philippines, and it's played every at the start of every movie or series here in the Philippines. It's like like an topini in Thailand, and then my main intros. It's actually inspired by one of my favorite vloggers in, here in the Philippines. It's Ayara Malia. Actually, I've pictured it out like that before, even before I've discovered her. But yeah, it sparkled 
to want to copy or imitate that intro well it's actually not imitate yeah but it's inspired also in my intro greetings and the, the viewer names there's a lot of changes initially i planned to call you gg because it's a famous term here in the philippines <laughs> and it's funny very funny but i'm sorry for that but yeah actually i'm afraid that no one will watch me because my intro is so long it's like 15 seconds but yeah i want to do it my way so i'm so sorry for you so aside from those changes i've experienced and faced a lot of problems and i've been battling because since i want to do it my own way there's a lot of don'ts that i do so in this part it's actually half showing my problem and half tips so the tips are actually just don't do what i do on some of it because i do some things right i think number one problem is i'm so shy like i'm literally a shy person i don't even take selfies for that reason actually i initially planned to be a secret and mysterious vlogger <laughs> i planned to hide my face and put masks on but yeah i actually realized no one's gonna watch me more yeah because who trusts an unseen guy yeah mm -hmm. there are a lot of channels that are successful even without a face on it but yeah if we want to do food travels and reaction so how am i going to react without a face do you realize it also yeah sorry for being stupid mm -hmm. problem number two our house is actually made of cement everything except the doors and the stuff but yeah so it's so dark like i use three lights right now yes problem number three we have a very noisy neighbors they're like using karaoke once a week and playing loud music five times a week all day so it's a real problem actually that's why i'm sweating right now because i close all the doors i use some soundproof thingies but it's still not effective. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. And some of them are so warped. Like their voices are louder than megaphones. Problem number four, my editing app crashes every 10 minutes, like before 10 minutes or so. I don't know why. Is it because it's cheap or is it because my laptop's drives are cheap? I don't know. But yeah, that's a main problem for me. Unless, see, it's noisy. Yeah, that kind of noise. Problem number five, I have a very sensitive mouth. That's a big problem for vloggers. I discovered it since when I was in high school. I got it checked up and the doctor confirmed that I have a very sensitive throat. Even though I was in choir for years. Yes. The problem is when I talk too much or for long hours, it's really, it will hurt. And eventually the other day, I'll have a sore throat. I often have canker sores as well. I don't know why, but yeah, that's a big problem because even if would I just talk with this kind of voice, normal voice it hurts when i talk too much yeah so whenever i perform during college or when i was in in choir or when i 
I need to present something, I conserve my voice. So yeah, for now, I need to conserve my voice for the vlog. Thank you! See what I mean. And to top that, I have allergies on some foods where when I eat too much, my mouth and throat gets really itchy. Problem number six is I rant a lot, like a lot, a lot. When you go to my Facebook, 6 out of 10 of all my posts are about work, rants about work, and poor services. And that's not good because I may influence someone and be a ranter for their lives. So I'm a change for you guys. So watch me change. Problem 7. I plan to do many don'ts. <laughs> yeah, I actually spent weeks on studying as EO also and what to do and what to not do in vlogging. But yeah, I actually I honestly want the reason is I just want to enjoy it while doing it and I want to learn along. Yeah, that's basically my reasons. So here are my don'ts. Here are my don'ts that you should not do. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Number one, don't. Contents about yourself. Why? Because no one knows you, so who would watch you? Like, 10 facts about me would want that if, you, if they don't know you. So... For this year, I focus more on doing contents about myself because as I've told you a lot of times now, I would do this year for myself so that when I'm old, I could, yeah, watch it. Number two don't is I don't have a consistent niche. Look at my cinema art. It's mixed with music, dance, K-pop, OPM, P-pop. Film, series, Korean series, American series, BL series, anime, and the likes, etc. So, I suggest you don't do that because a niche is important because no one will subscribe you if you have a very wide niche unless they really love you as who you are or they are your friends and family who supports you. You know what I mean? Yeah, just don't. Just don't. Number three, don't is optimizing SE or SEO. SEO suggests that you should be educational or entertaining. But guess what? I'm not both. So what up? That's prob problem number five, my voice. Because when I record my voice, it's so irritating. Like I get so irritated a lot. I hear my voice being recorded but I don't want to modulate it because I don't want to be fake and actually it's harder to modulate like this hello guys um this is gonna be hello guys yeah that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget don't do it for the vlog do it for yourself enjoy while you earn don't be afraid of changes we may not have a choice most of the time but I'm sure you will learn to deal with it. So just take your time. And do good to feel good. Again, it's me, Gilby. Bye. What? Hi, I am Ajun Gilby. So, good morning. Hey. Hi there. Gilby. Hello. Happy to slow. You like it? Where's the next scene? Where? Oh, okay. I told you I have an editor. Where is the first scene? Oh, okay, this one. Where do you need? Where? Oh. Hi, Kings of Pains. Ooh, lights, you guys. You know? Remember, you're all. Put the street light. That was nice.